This is it. What? Fettuccine with the team, we getting lit. What? Got it rolled up. Now who really trying to hit? One. Puff, puff, then we pass. Then we pass. Then we pass. The moon is out. And you know what I'm saying? The I'm, tunes is out. I'm ready to get intimate. You ready to get intimate? I'm oh. ready to get intimate Ooh. and then get Ooh. into it. Mm-hmm. I see what kind of moves you in today. Mm-hmm. I see what kind of moves you in. What's going mm-hmm. on? You, you good? How you doing? How you feeling? God damn, she and her mood. I see. I see. God damn, she, God damn, she and her mood. Well, I'm liking it. Let's keep the vibe going. Let's you know what I'm saying? Keep it going. It's definitely a vibe going on. Let's bring the people along for the ride. You know what I mean? I hope the people is ready. It's your man, Earth Tone. And your man, the real peasy, holding you down with the right dose of the highest, highest notes. notes. Only the highest. Only the Only highest, the highest notes out here. These you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So how we doing? We got another round of what? These micro segments. We got these micro segments. I feel like we bringing it back to old faithful on this one. I definitely believe that I can second that. Right? If you've been if you've been with us for a little minute, you mm-hmm. know mm-hmm. we started off one of the origins because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we done changed the template up a little bit. We have, we have. You know what I'm saying? We had to add a little spice here and there. How know you dig the way I s- s- sit my style? Exactly. Holla. Ain't no stopping me. They ain't ready. She going on tour anyway, by <laughs> the way. Going, shout out. Shout out. Um, But, yeah, we changed the template up a little bit, but we these have. two have always been around from day one. Right. So we're going to hit you with a, a screech. In the smoking section. Streets in the section. You know what I'm saying? Spectacular. So how you feeling? Where you been? Have you been in the streets? Like, I, I feel like you, I thought you retired, honestly. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. Wait a uh, hold the <laughs> fucking phone. I know he not going to bring me all the way to these type of things to tell me about retirement. Listen, listen. First of all. It's been a while since we got an update from the street. So uh, I just uh, figured, uh, like, I ain't want to press you because uh, uh, I didn't know. Cause I didn't know if you ran across somebody in the last, streets that, like, had Last you, like, I heard, niggas is going outside and calling, pulling niggas' cars and shit <laughs> in these streets because niggas ain't rapping no more. Wow. That's what the streets is Ooh. really saying. It did get so, spicy. It got real let's, spicy. Let's go ahead and get that together. It got together. real spicy. Right? You heard? Okay, okay. I just had I just had to make sure you was here with us. All right, hold on. I, I wasn't sure. I, 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 we got to just go right to it. Okay. All right, so speaking of things that's going on out in these streets and being called out and names and things, Ooh. Highest Notes 2, right? Okay. This might be the first time I'm speaking about it. Wow. Right. Exclusive, exclusive, exclusive. Clue, 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 clue. Clue and So you, must, you might remember Highest Notes, the original EP that we dropped in the 2020 situation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I've been, like, trying to figure out where we at with the sequel because it seemed like there was a whole lot of love for what we gave out. You know what I'm saying? We yep. dropped that Boiler Room video, and it was bananas. It was. You know what I'm saying? Niggas then went crazy it over sure that. Was. The gang gang was there. Yep. We was all outside. We was on the roof. We was chilling, partying, smoking, and joking. It was a whole movie. All of that. And it's all around. And, you know, and then we dropped a couple of other gems, too. You know what I'm saying? We got the okay. Elixir record. Okay. Then you had a couple of yours. Come on, fam. You know what I'm saying? The city was burning up. High as snows. How the sample go? <laughs> and okay, but, said, what you, but what you trying to say, though? You all trying right, to all say right, all right. So we, we served up a gem there, but we got to follow it up with the sequel. So that's High as Nose 2. Okay. And so what I'm doing with this one this time around is I'm giving you a visual mixtape. All right, so I thought I would start it off with a little bit of a freestyle because right now Drake is outside, guns is drawn. <laughs> it's a whole little battlefield. Guns is definitely drawn. Going, going on outside, and yeah. that beat that Drake did for push-ups, I thought it was so crazy. I had to go off on it, mm. and that's what I did. And so that is the first edition of the highest notes too. That's what I'm bringing back. First of many. First of many, I believe. Okay. If the people want it, I love it. Every episode that we drop, I might drop a new one. Listen, you can never have enough peasy. So, so I want y'all to let me know what's really going on. So that's gonna be the highest notes too. Freestyle. We got a other couple of other surprises. Okay, okay. With that. 
But that's where we at with that one. The prequel to the sequel. To announce that real quick. That's fire. Formally, High and Snows 2 is coming at you in real time. Love it. All right? So stay tuned after this episode. Maybe a new one to drop. Mm. Next up, shout out to Lauren Jamal. Lauren Jamal is uh, an R&B artist. And I believe he's from D.C. Mm-hmm. area. And submitted and... Uh, he hit us up on a DM. He has a new album coming out. It'll be out the next day, May 3rd. And, you know, we're going to show him some love. It's called My Own Way. Hey. So just wanted to shout him out. You know, okay. Lauren Jamal um, doing this thing for a minute. Multi-instrumentalist, multi-talented, self-produced. And kind of been outside for a minute. So Come on, Q plus so, R&B. So, you know, plug right there. My Own Way is out May 3rd. So go ahead and go stream that album. Run go it up. Go cop that. He's showing us love. Yeah. We'll show that love right back to Absolutely. Him. You already know what it is. So you might have heard of someone named Doja Cat who dropped a sequel to the hardest album that came out last year, Scarlet. I mean. She came back with a seven piece on it. And, you know, re-upped on it. It's called Scarlet 2 Claude. Have you heard that yet? I haven't. You was kind of playing a couple of the tunes for me a little bit earlier. Mm-hmm. I was surprised because I don't know how that fell off of my radar. Because you know I'm part of the, like, I don't know her Navy or her tribe or. Listen, I think that's going to be on you. I definitely believe that you got to be the number one. No, no, the no, numero no. uno leader. The no, I got to Google it. All the kittens together. No. You know what I'm saying? She has uh, some kind of tribe. I think they call it felines. It's something like that, something to that tune. But so, so you, so you a feline? I'm definitely on that. You gonna squad. be? A, you on a feline squad? I fucks with her. She, she's ill. But that album was crazy. Yeah, the it s- didn't fall in line in, in time for us to review it. No, nah. I remember it like missed the the radar or the closing it definitely, window for some reason. For sure, for sure. But that album, the original album, Scarlet definitely was bangers after bangers after bangers, and she came back with. The sequel and it references. It's called Scarlet. This is her scary Claude. hours. She dropped the scary hours. Pretty much mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. It references Claude Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and it's like a metaphor for certain negative energy that creators kind of endure. So she's like trying to. She's like fighting all of that shit. And, Interesting. And you know, going off with the said tracks, and I think pretty much like she got bang after bang on that. So I just wanted to shout that out. We was bumping that earlier. That shit was going crazy. It's a vibe. She's got a video for Mask featuring Tizo Touchdown. Mm -hmm. And once I saw that video, I was like, yo, I had to hear the rest. And she giving us like, the look is giving like Eve, early Eve. Rough Riders first lead. The way she shaved her head. She like yeah, she was the blonde bombshell. The cover. That's kind of what it remind me of. But that's just that's just old school me. I'm always doing that. But she's definitely giving that's a nineties equivalent. That's definitely a little nineties <laughs> equivalent there. I think we gave her that for sure. But Doja's definitely doing her thing, stepping it up. Okay. Scla- uh, Scarlet to Claude out right now. Mm. Guess who else is at, out with some new music? Who? Niece. Niece is back? Niece is dropping little tidbits on their SoundCloud. Lil Nas X. Okay. Nazarati 2. Okay. That's what's happening. With He's been dropping. He has a few songs out on his SoundCloud page right now. He's been teasing them week after week since the beginning of April. Mm-hmm. And there's about three of them right now. The most popular one is called Light Again. Okay. 3.7 million plays on SoundCloud. And for me, that's probably the best one. You know what I'm saying? I, I gotta get know. up on it. I haven't heard any of these. It's he I think he kinda like teasing just, dropping them. just because like there wasn't really a lot of um re- good reception to the single that he no, dropped earlier no. in the year. It seemed like a um what was it? Like Montero a car too? Yeah, it was like a carbon copy of what he was it doing really with was. with Montero Call Me by Your Name, yeah, doing all of the imagery and the weird shit that he had on in the video being on the cross. It's called, what is it called? J. Christ? It's called J. Christ, the song. Yeah. So, like, you know, he's back at it, and I guess he's, like, teasing his his next mixtape project, Nazarati 2, which is a sequel to 
a like pretty much an unknown mixtape before he blew up. Yeah. So that's what he's got going on on SoundCloud. Y'all go check oh, he's that out. Trying to out. take it back to the roots. Trying to take it this back is, to this the is roots. His, uh, okay. And uh, you know, yeah, what I'm like saying? I'm kind of that's it's kind of weird that creative choice. Like whoever is you know behind the decision making as far as what to come out with next after that big you know release he had that big run that big year. For that to be like, it was like they took the cutting room floor stuff and was like, all right, let's just put together another video with this. And like, he sees these songs. I don't know. It was a strange move. But I'm glad he, so these are kind of in a different line. He's kind of taking it back and yeah, it's a I, different vibe. I saw the look recently on Instagram. He dropped a couple of pictures. He got a whole new look. He got like the big baggy uh, bell bottom jeans on with like a crop top tank and a low. Low fade, like low season. I'm like, all right, it's a he giving a new, new and improved look. He's definitely giving us a new look. Okay, and definitely teasing this mixtape and kind of like, I guess, change not shift the narrative, but like pivot a little bit. Hey man, you, you gotta, gotta keep it a moving. little bit more. Yeah, raw. you gotta move forward. So, Sometimes it don't, you know. So let's see what that. What, let's see what else niece, uh, niece got for us. He got if he got some more hits up his sleeve. You know, what I'm saying, kind of give us another moment like he did with Montero. Um. Speaking of moments, Queen Beyonce. Uh oh. You know, Cowboy Carter. Mm-hmm. What you know about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a little. I just want to applaud her for the, the audacity to do country. Yeah. I've never really been the biggest fan of country. I do know some of it. I do listen to people like Kenny Rogers and. Oh, um, I fuck with Kenny Rogers. John Denver mm. or Garth Brooks. I'm mm-hmm. familiar with some of the names. Dolly Parton, of Willie course. Nelson. Dolly, Willie Nelson. Um, maybe Jimmy Buffett. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, Dolly Parton is definitely on the album. Molly Cyrus is on the album. And, you know, I definitely admire the Queen for being the one to make that statement. And, you know. I saw, like, it was like a, like a kind of a cheat code. Of all of the little symbols and subliminal joints she was dropping throughout the album, like she was paying a lot of homage to, like the first black female cowgirls and stuff like that. Like she was doing a lot of that stuff in a weave, like you know, showing like the historic uh, uh, importance of country music and all that shit in a weave throughout the album. So it wasn't only like dope musically and sonically. Like she was kind of being heady about how she even fed it to the people, which was dope. And it sounded like she was just doing Beyonce doing country. Like, it wasn't that like she is, was trying to... That was my thing. It's like, it sounds like she a was Beyonce her, album. Yeah, she was bringing her sauce to the, with a country twang. Exactly, like, just with a bunch of banjos Country and samples guitars. and yeah. stuff like that. Like, it was hard. And it's dope. That's, yeah. that's dope. I definitely respect the queen for doing all of that. And um, Cowboy Carter's out right now. Uh, and right there with Cowboy Carter, we got the new Tay-Tay. <laughs> the new Tay Tay is out. You uh-huh. heard that new Tay Tay? I've heard some of it. <laughs> I've heard some of you it. You heard some of <clears> it? <throat> I haven't heard all of it. Mm-hmm. It's a he- fam. You talking about a healthy listen? <laughs> yeah. Like, is that a. She did a double whammy, right? She dropped the deluxe? She dropped the. the like original the next album, day or something. The original album, and then like two hours later, did the same thing she did with Midnight's. Dropped the deluxe, but this time it was like. Whole 31, al- 31 songs. Like she gave you a double album. Man, that's a lot. I you gotta, I gotta pace myself with that one. Like I gotta, you know what I'm saying. And I feel like I'm a, I'm a hear it anyway. Like just You're definitely gonna hear it in the environment. It <laughs> so because it already, it, all ten of the songs, the first ten songs have already taken up the the top ten on the Hot 100. The joint with Post is fire. I the, like that joint. I definitely was that joint yeah, hard. I, I like that hard. one. It's not. It's 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 definitely dope. Um, she had a couple of other cuts on there that I that I enjoy. What was it? Um, Florida with Florence, Ooh, Florence Welch from Florence yeah. and Machine. I heard that one as well. That one is hard. And I heard it was a little Car- Kim Kardashian beef mm. that Kim Kardashian mm. just was like, okay, whatever next. Oh, she just brushed it off. She yeah, ain't it. she paid it. I don't know what the fuck going on between them. She's still mad about that whole um. I made that bitch famous thing. Yeah, I mean, still, she was in that girl. still, like, you tried to humiliate her oh. like in front of the world. Like we, ain't, we're, I don't rock with you like that. Like, we're all over it. 
Bro. All over it. Well, she ain't apparently so. Oh. Anyway, next <laughs> up, Ice Spice acting debut on a Spike Lee joint with Denzel Washington. What? Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Ice Spice and Denzel? The Ice Spice is, yeah. Getting right. her first I gotta acting see this. role on a, in a Spike you Lee joint. You think you the shit, bitch? Think you the right. You're not even the, the fuck. fuck. Okay, mm-hmm. come on, Ice Spice. Yo, she tapped in. Yeah. She tapped in. She been getting some looks. Sure, I love sure it. thing. Come you know on, Ice Spice. Ice Spice, her non-rapping You ass. better go ahead. We fuck with you. We definitely fuck with you in the Queer Plus community. We following you. We seeing what you doing next. <laughs> Shout out to you. You already know. Um, Brittany Griner. Mm. Now, you know, not newly home, but been home for like over a year. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to them. Her and her wife, Sherelle, expecting their firstborn son in about three months. We oh, wow. Close to that by okay. the time this is. Congrats. That's dope. Just want to send a shout out and good healing energy to her because, you know, I'm sure, you know, that whole experience being locked up in a Russian jail for Traumatic. a long ass time, you know what I'm saying, definitely takes some healing. And we're glad she's back and celebrating the new family and all yeah. that. So shout out to her. Dope. Shout out to her. You know, what I'm you already know. Gerard Carmichael, Oof. the Gerard Carmichael reality show. All right, so <laughs> All like, right. <laughs> how many episodes have you seen of this shit? <laughs> I've seen two full episodes. Two full episodes. Yes. How many are there? Is there it? are four. Okay, so I'm only missing two. It's there not are bad. four right now. Okay, and I've seen all four of them. I've seen all four. My favorite one is him standing up to his pops. Because his pops is basically a philanderer, had a whole separate family aside, separate from the one Gerard was raised in. Hmm. And, you know, Gerard confronts him about it in a little trip that they take. I forgot where they went to. Um, But they were taking a trip, and it was really all about Gerard confronting his pops about that. And he had his pops pretty shook. Whoa. Pretty fucking shook, wow. I, if I do say so myself. Interesting. It's, that show, it just finds a way to like be the most cringiest thing, but the it's most so honest thing. so cringy. I don't understand how that works. But it takes a special type of individual to bring that forth to mm. us. Mm-hmm. But shout out to Gerard. He was on The Breakfast Club. Um, a few, maybe not I not, not too long ago, I did see confronting that. Charlemagne about yep. the bullshit with him and the, and the slave joke. And I was kind of on Charlemagne's side. Like the race play? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause, well, I didn't see. Is that in the third episode? Because um, I didn't see that. That is in the second episode. That's in the second episode? That's in the I second that episode part. because that was the one about him cheating on his boyfriend like yeah. all the time. Even though he's trying to be serious, which is why I can't take him seriously. Yeah. But I don't know. These are just my misgivings. I can't take you seriously but, anyway. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I got to see the rest of the episodes. I would love to see the episode with him and his pops. That sounds really interesting, actually. It's very interesting. I think that one's the one worth the watch. It is. The thing I give the kudos to the most about it is the uniqueness and the fact that nobody else has given us this. Like, Yeah. That's he, I think he said that on the Breakfast Club show. He tried to like make the show that he wanted to see or that he wished was around when he was like of coming of age and was younger. Like you don't have anything out there close to this as far as especially like coming from a black gay male standpoint. Indeed, indeed. It's um it's very uh bold and and honest, but Definitely cringeworthy. Definitely messy as Very, fuck. very cringy. Very messy. It can't get I can't no front. Either. I'm judging him a little bit. Um, I'm judging him every fucking yeah, time. So every time. It's, it's definitely one of those. But I got to see the rest of it. I'm interested in checking it out. Did you ever see his show before this? I did see. The, like, the, the show before he came the, out? No, the Carmichael show. Oh, no, no, I did not. It was literally, he had a sitcom show, like, on a, I think it was NBC or something like that. He had a. A sitcom show on a network, a black cast, predominantly black cast, The Carmichael Show. He was the star of his own like sitcom. It was crazy. Is that where the fuck he came from? Yes. Yes. This was before he came out in the specials and all that. I, I've been on to him. Uh, you was on the mixtape era? Yeah. I missed the mixtape era? Yeah, you missed it. You missed it. It's cool, though. You can catch up because it's all out there. You know what I'm saying? Everything digitized. So. 
Fuck this nigga. Anyway, uh, kiss it and hug about it. How I like it now. <laughs> How I wanna stroke you off. How- We're back to the doja. But that's it for the streets. You okay, know what I'm saying? I hope okay. you enjoyed that. All you know right, all right. We all back. Right. We are back. Come we on are now. Back, you know what I'm saying? All right, so the streets is burning up a little bit. They seem like they, you know what I'm saying? It's heating up. It's, it's, it's it ain't burning up. yet. It's nah, just nah, up. not fever pitch yet. Luke warm, Luke That's warm. soon. Luke it's warm. soon. It's soon. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. So in that note, we're gonna have a smoking session, session in, in the, the smoking section. section. It's about that time. It's that been a minute. You know, I stay in the smoking section, but. I love to come to the official smoking section because it's only one official smoking section. And that's here at the HTP with your man Earth Tony, your man Peasy. Indeed. Come on now. So, what are we talking about this time around? Mm. I heard some big things happening. Yeah, I had to light it for this one. So, it's been a lot stirring in the pot lately when it comes to this marijuana. And all of these policies and all of the legislation and all of the rules and all the red tape and blah, 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 right? So, recently, as we all know, there's a there's a big disconnect between the marijuana legalization uh, when it comes to the federal and the state level, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a disconnect. A lot of the states, like the one we're in, New York, um, New Jersey, California, all legalized medicinal, recreational, both. Legalized on a state level, when it comes to the federal level, not so much, right? Still illegal. Um, this comes into play in particular for me when it comes to like traveling, flying, getting on planes, anything oh, like yeah. that. Because it's legal yeah. here. I could carry up to a certain amount of ounces on me if I wanted to, smoke freely, do my thing, right? Going on a plane, excuse me, traveling with that, you go into another state that might have, you know, have it legalized recreationally as well. Right. But airports are federal land, so you can't really have it on you once you get into the airport. So that's a whole thing. Like, can you, like, we just talking about Brittany Griner. She went to a, you know, she had the cartridge on her, the the, the weed cartridge. Yep. Brought it to a country that didn't play that, and that was a wrap. So that it's like, it. is it worth it? So there's this whole debate, there's this whole push for, uh, the decriminalization of marijuana. Now, they've been talking about it for a few years now, but recently, as of last year, actually, um, the uh, uh, they're, they're pushing even more so. They're doing, like, a review on it. Mm-hmm. So they went and actually did a study, and they made a case to present to the White House to be like, listen, this is what we did, this is what we looked over, and these are our findings, and this is our recommendation, Right. Um, so marijuana right now is on the schedule. So when you talk about drug classification, everything is like on a schedule system, right? There's five different schedules. So you got schedule one, schedule two, so on and so forth, down to schedule five. Marijuana right now is a schedule one drug, right? And it's on the list with other drugs like cocaine, Oxycontin, mm-hmm. fentanyl, heroin, methamphetamine, yeah. um, and then you got marijuana. It's like, all right, it's like the odd. Which one not, of like these the, is like, not yeah, like Yeah, like, it's like, all right, what's going on here? Something not adding up. Um, so the push now, what they're trying to do is get it, you know, declassified, per se. Um, so they want to bring it down to a Schedule 3, uh, which would put it on the list um, with drugs like uh, ketamine, which is, you know, we've been talking about, I think we talked about that on the last uh, episode, um, testosterone uh, and then codeine. So that's these are the level three drugs, and that's where they're trying to put marijuana, right? Um, so the Department of Health and Human Services, they went and they, conduct, they conducted this marijuana study, and they reviewed the policies, they reviewed the effects, they reviewed all of the studies that, have been you know done so far and they recommend that you know it be de- declassified brought down to schedule three and all of that is cool everybody's like yo let's go Biden, uh president Biden right now is getting behind it um vp kamala harris they're both kind of pushing it they're even you know weaving it into their upcoming campaign for you know re-election mm-hmm. 
that's how that's how close it's getting to you know being passed. But right now it's in the hands of the DEA, uh, which is the Drug Enforcement Administration. Um, so they overseeing it. So they have you know what the the human resources, uh, the health and human uh, services presented. They had the recommendation, and now it's up to them to kind of pass it and finalize it. Um, but a lot of people are saying like that's not enough. Like, yeah, it should be down on schedule three but it shouldn't have been on schedule one in the first place and actually it shouldn't even be on any of the schedules so they saying it should just be legalized and removed completely so that's where this whole debate of legalization versus the criminal decriminalization comes into play no, because no. you're going to decriminalize it bring it down on the schedule but it's still you know up there on the schedule and it's not seen they can't even test it they can't even really have a lot of studies on it exactly. because it's a schedule one exactly drug so they did it's like a catch-22. You can't really know what all the benefits are if you're not exactly. able to test it, if it's illegal to test it. Exactly. Exactly. So, so that's where they at with it now. Um, but, I mean, it's kind of an exciting time because this is as close and this is as much as you've heard of this conversation happening, like, out in the open and in a public forum. Um, and it's a serious debate and it's a serious uh, policy that might pass. And, you know, if marijuana is decriminalize at least and becomes you know uh legalized federally you can move around with it like you can with uh you know other schedule three drugs they're trying to make it at least uh at least if it's a schedule three i think it'll be at least medicinal it'll be like for medical they'll yeah i mean you can do ketamine therapy yeah which is yeah. a new thing like they're using that for medical studies and it's legal and you can pay for it and you know, and it, be like that. So yeah, so exactly. You can't do that you with schedule one drugs. Yeah. Um, so that's where they at with it, man. So that's what's going on in the smoking section. Hey, you know we love to hear it. The progression is always welcome. I say uh better late than never, but shit, hurry up. Yeah. Hurry up and take time. The time with it. Go. Go slow. Go slow. And on that note, man, we're gonna end it like we always like to end it. On the high. Ha, ha, motherfucking hot note. Yeah. This is it. What? Fettuccine with the team, we getting lit. What? Got it rolled up. Now who really trying to hit? One. Puff, puff, then we pass. Then we pass.